There was a barn, a chicken house, they could keep a milk cow, they could raise a big garden to feed the family. Across the street where our visitor center stands today was a grade school. So there was a playground right across the street for those all important football and baseball games. Must have looked like paradise to a young family. Here in the parlor, you can see the family Bible. It lists the births of seven boys. They did lose one to Dixieria when he was small. Dwight was number three and the only one not a native born Kansan. They had spent a couple of years in Texas and he's the one born while they were there. A lot of books, they were great believers in education and that is what took Dwight to West Point. Not any particular interest in a military career as such, he just learned he could get a free college education that way. And as they say, the rest is history. <laughs> Upstairs bedrooms are pictured on the steps. Uh, two nice average sized rooms, one very small one. And eight people shared those rooms. I'm not sure where they put them all, but they were small, but they were growing. So a couple years after moving in, they added this bedroom downstairs for mother and father, left the upstairs rooms for the boys to spread out a little bit. Like every other bedroom in town, rich, poor, or in between, they would have been hot in the summer and cold in the winter. That's just the way it was back then. Bedrooms here, you can see the quilts that his mother made. You'll see a lot of her handiwork throughout the home. The next room down the hall is the back parlor. I suppose we can compare the front parlor and the back parlor to the day's living room and family rooms. Though Milton does tell us, the youngest boy tells us that this room was their dining room back then. So it has changed usage over the years. The piano was the mother's pride and joy. She had brought that to the marriage with her. She loved to play. And she must have had a world of patience because she tried teaching all those boys as well. Dwight was not a great prize pupil. He was more of a turkey in the straw type of piano player. Radio in the far corner is a Spartan, made in the mid-30s. Dwight's brothers bought that for the mother during the war years, hoping she'd be able to hear word of General Eisenhower while he was overseas. A plaid coverlet on the couch there, quite a family heirloom. That was woven by the president's great-grandfather when the family still was back in Pennsylvania. The pillows with David and Ida on it, those were made by his mother, David's father, Ida Jean. This is the largest room in the house. It is a dining room today. It was the kitchen back when the family were growing up, so you're gonna to have to use your imagination a little bit. Coal burning cook stove at the end of the room, black stove pipe across the room to the chimney, kerosene lamps in the evening and water in a bucket. Six little boys learned to cook and clean and sew. And along with that, there are chores outside take care of the livestock, raise the big garden, and they are also allowed time to play as well, so it is a good balance. They love to hunt, fish, uh, they camped, and all sorts of things like that. All sorts of boyhood adventures that way. Is that original phone or uh, reproduction? That, that is an old phone. It was on a town line, did not have to have a crank like so many of them did. Yeah. You just lift that earpiece and the operator would say, number please. Nice. Little kitchen at the back there, added after most of the boys were grown. You can tell things are getting more modern. That's a gas stove. Yeah. You didn't have to get up real early in the morning to build a fire, so it'd be hot hmm. enough to cook breakfast. And what is the horn? The horn, it's a cow horn, and it's where Father Honey's hat. The light bulb is a good idea, too. They were frugal folks. There was no money to waste. That light comes on when the cellar light's on, and that way you don't forget to shut it off. I think that's a pretty good idea. It is. Over here, the wooden box on legs is a dough box. It's a homemade bread dough there to rise. Oh. Certainly a never-ending challenge to fill up that many boys. <laughs> Dwight said they never went hungry, but a lot of their food was pretty plain. A lot of potatoes, a lot of bread. He said one of his favorites was fried mush. What's fried mush? Made of cornmeal. Oh, okay. 
mother and father's 50th anniversary portrait there, 1935, photo of General Eisenhower, shows him the day he received his first star. Uh, the other young fellow there is Dwight and Mamie's son, John. He also had a military career and became a respected military historian. Cool. And you stand like a that heater? That is a little gas heater. They were very common. They were also quite dangerous. They're unvented. They had an open flame. Oh. It would not have set that close to the wall, though I'm not exactly sure where it did originally set. But most every house had at least one of those. Cool. So nothing fancy. It's, it's a really homey, comfortable kind of home. Oh, yeah. Uh, certainly would have been very lively in those early days. Especially for a kid. <laughs> but, uh, comfortable home for the parents later on. Awesome. So, any questions? Um, no, that's about it. All right. Well, thank you for stopping. Thank you. You're welcome.